Ready for kickoff in the regular season finale between Vandy and Ole Miss here in Nashville. And plenty still to be decided in the SEC standings. Ole Miss 3-4-0, and Vanderbilt 4-3-0. and Matt Mott, the head coach of Ole Miss in his 11th season, five NCAA tournaments, including three of the last five. And here's his starting lineup going with a 4-4-2 formation. For the second straight match, they will not start Madison Smith, junior defender, out with a knee injury, but this Ole Miss team exploded for four goals last game in a win. Yeah, they really came back strong. They never let their heads uh, get out of the game against Georgia, and really some great play from Pizzino and Channing Foster, of course, with the game winner and the uh, acrobatics after. Pizzino will come off the bench as usual against Darren Ambrose's Vanderbilt Commodores. Sixth year for Coach Ambrose, three straight NCAA tournaments. They've gone to a 4-4-2 formation. They had been playing three in the back, Laura. They've gone to four in the back now, and they really like this lineup with Maya Antoine in as the fourth defender. Yeah, and this just gives them, you know, Vanderbilt, what they've always done best is use the width, and so this allows for Harriet and Conti to get forward, and knowing that you still have two defenders supporting makes that a little bit easier. Vanderbilt winners of three straight looking to make it four to head into Orange Beach with some big momentum. A win for Vandy locks up the five seed in the Southeastern Conference. Vanderbilt's in the white, Ole Miss in the powder blue, and we are underway here in Nashville, or not. Our head official is Aaron Hernandez, assistant referees Wes Cowett and Matt Drew. Jessica Medley, our fourth official. This was the final scheduled SEC regular season match on the original schedule. We've got two makeup games after this, last game for both teams, and both of these teams in the middle of the pack. Nobody will have the double bye, but nobody will be playing on play-in day. And Laura, both teams feel really good about where they are right now. Yeah, I mean, I think Ole Miss coming in uh, from that win last week, riding that momentum, and then Vanderbilt riding the three-game win streak getting players back to um, health, healthy players, and then, you know, consistency in the lineup. I think that's what has got Coach Ambrose feeling good is that they've been able to play the same starting lineup these past few games, which says a lot for the team. It'll be an Ole Miss throw off the foot of Mattia Harriet, the right back for Vandy. Ole Miss scored four goals in their first six games this year and then doubled it with four last time out in a 4-3 last second win at home over Georgia. That was a fun game to watch. I actually uh, ended up watching that game and just was impressed with the toughness Ole Miss showed and, and not getting their heads down and being able to come back. Foul Vanderbilt, two goals in the final seven minutes for Ole Miss in that game. Madison Pizzino had two both off of free kicks and Channing Foster nailed the free kick in the final minute to win it for the Rebs. Ashley Orcus getting ready to take this free kick will jump up into the play and take some free kicks. And she took two of them that led to goals last time. Expect to see her do that again tonight, especially with Madison Smith and the central defense not playing at least to start for Ole Miss. And Orcus becoming the first SEC keeper to record two assists in the history of the league. She'll come out and grab this one in the red keeper kit. A little bit of trouble on the ball for both sides to get this one going. Orca's been great in goal, great on the offensive side too, but she's been everything Ole Miss has asked for playing every minute of each of the last two seasons. Vanderbilt working the left side of the field. May have been off Elwell. It is off Ole Miss, corner kick for Vandy. And Elwell will head over to the corner spot to take it. And this is where Ole Miss needs to be careful. They gave up those two goals to Georgia quickly in the first half last week out of the air. Vanderbilt is very good on set pieces and out of the air. So Ole Miss needs to body up here. Elwell, the left footed in swinger. One of Vanderbilt's 10 seniors in their final home game. Puts this one up. Orcus able to hold on and smother it. Third minute, Vandy and Ole Miss just getting going on Saturday night in Nashville. Temperature in the 60s, a little bit of wind during warmups, but it's a calm day. And Elwell just a little bit too strong on this one. And Orcus does a good job to recover there.
Darren Ambrose, the Vanderbilt head coach, send that one right back into play. Commodores won their opener against Kentucky in this eight-game All-SEC season, lost three in a row, and now has come back to win three straight. Darren Ambrose saying this week as a possession-based team, which Vanderbilt, of course, is, building up takes time. It's not a team that'll just send it straight down the field. He said teams like that can come right back and play after not playing for two years. Took a little bit of time for his group. He feels like they are where they would be in September right now in yeah. a normal year. I mean, I think, you know, they are hitting their stride at the right time uh, heading into Orange Beach next week. But I think also the injuries, I mean, you that's very difficult to come into. And then when you're a possession team, you're used to spending a lot of time together off the field and building that culture and, and communicating in that way. And when you don't have that because of where we are right now with COVID, I think it was really difficult for Vanderbilt and just a slow start. But I know he's been impressed the last few games, and I do think they're building steam for the SEC tournament. Haley Hopkins fouls Price LaPasser, and it'll be another whistle and another free kick for Ole Miss. Reagan Kelly, the first head on it for Vanderbilt. And out for a Rebel throw. That's Price LaPasser who will take it. Both the outside backs for Ole Miss are freshmen. They've got three freshmen in the starting lineup tonight. Lucy Green and Price LaPasser are the outside backs and Ramsey Davis in the midfield. They've gotten very valuable minutes out of some very athletic first year players. Conti heads that one down for Vandy. Molly Martin looking back towards the middle. Heavy touch and a sliding play by Abby Brighton for Vanderbilt. Gets it back to the midfield. Martin to the right side. And well defensed by Maddie Elwell. And now the Commodores will reset with Ella Schamberger wearing that captain's armband, the rock in the middle of the Vanderbilt D. Four in the back line for Vandy. Maddie Harriet has that one knocked down and Ole Miss looking to turn and go. Decky was looking up ahead, and Azari with those neon cleats. Clear it out for Vanderbilt. No reset to that back line once again. Maya Antoine, the right center back, who has made this a firm four for Vandy on defense. And so far, Ole Miss is doing a great job of pressuring Vanderbilt, trying to disrupt their possession game, which is what you really need to do because they will hold it all day long if you don't put the the pressure on them in the back line. Especially in this matchup too, Vanderbilt expecting to have quite a bit of possession. Absolutely, and Ole Miss probably content to sit back a little bit. Uh, well, back to Abby Brighton. Central defensive midfielder. Bad touch though by Harriet. It's taken away from her by Ramsey Davis, and Ole Miss with an opportunity blooming here. Sliding play by Brighton, not enough for possession though. Foster, bumped by Schamberger, that's strength on strength. Foster the best player on Ole Miss, Schamberger Vanderbilt's best defender. And Conti comes in to help Schamberger win it. Clear back out towards Martin. Another good play by Abby Brighton, the freshman who plays big minutes for Vanderbilt with the ball at her feet in the central defensive midfield, leads Layla Azari. Azari one more time up towards Olivia Simmons. Simmons trying to earn it back. Azari knocked off the ball. Right around the jersey numbers of the Vanderbilt seniors here at the Vanderbilt Soccer Complex. And how impressive has Abby Brighton been so far for Vanderbilt to come in after losing, you know, following in Grace Jackson's footsteps and to step into that role. And I have been so impressed with her so far this season. She plays with a lot of heart. She's really scrappy and sees the field very well. She's been a great, great player for Vanderbilt. 88 minutes a game for the freshman in the midfield this year. Started all of them. Hopkins in the right corner for Vandy. Trying to get it towards the middle. Simmons trying to create. Out over the end line. And a corner kick for Vanderbilt, their second. Vanderbilt's been very good in the air this season. A group with great box organization. It'll be Azari 
Taking this one, another in-swinger. Headed up. Conti's there for Vandy. Maddie Harriet. Still loose in the box. Conti with the shot and she scores! Wow, what a goal for Myra Conti. All the way from her defensive position, sticking with the ball, staying with it, and able to finish that. 1-0 Vanderbilt in the ninth minute. The senior defender with her second goal of the year and third collegiate goal. That's just great use of the body by Conti. Sticks her foot in there and able to use her strength to hold off the Ole Miss de defenders. It was Harry at the right back who put it in and Conti the left back who finished it. Both seniors, both came into this Vanderbilt program as forwards. And you can see their offensive acumen able to push up as the outside backs in this 4-4-2. Yeah, and the, the willingness by both of those players to just play where they're needed when they came into Vanderbilt. Often that happens with speed like both of them have. It's not uncommon to, to have a change of position when you come to the collegiate level. Conti the goal, Harriet the assist, Vanderbilt the early lead. Here's Harriet with a takeaway, may have brushed that ball with her right hand. Not much she could have done there, but a handball. And it'll be the first time we get to see Ole Miss set up a free kick. Definitely a little roll there with the hand. And then she gets up and is like, I didn't touch it. Michael Ack sends it in. A bit too far. Trying to hit Ramsey Davis on the back end. So it'd be Sarah Fuller to take the goal kick for Vanderbilt. It was Michael Ack who took that set piece. Fuller making her fifth straight start for the Commodores. Senior had only played in two games, both in relief before this season. She has been a major stabilizing force. Vanderbilt three and one in her four starts. Yeah, I mean, she learned right coming up behind the stellar keepers of Vanderbilt the last few years and has waited patiently and really has been able to calm that back line and help Vanderbilt secure these wins. Just three goals against in four starts, 17 saves for Sarah Fuller. Azari back on the charge for Vandy. Already up one nothing, Myra Conti in the ninth minute off a corner kick. That turned into sustained pressure. There's Chanel Thomas for Ole Miss, making her second straight start with Madison Smith, nursing an injured knee. Smith did play in the game last week, two stints over 13 minutes, didn't practice before that game after getting hurt against Arkansas. Matt Mott was expecting her to be well enough to start and play today. We'll see if she gets in. Smith from nearby Franklin, southern suburb of Nashville. That's a huge goal for Vanderbilt starting out right now. They've been traditionally slow to start in the first half, minus last week's uh, LSU win. So that really gives them some confidence and allows them some cushion to continue to play their style of play, possessing the ball and waiting for opportunities. Vandy building out of the back once again. Harriet, Brighton, and Schamberger. Now to Conti, the goal scorer on the left. And this is Vanderbilt with a new 4-4-2. Right now it's almost a 5-3-2 with Brighton, the midfielder, back there in the middle. But this is something they focused on with associate head coach Ken Massor, who coaches the team's defenders, reteaching the flat back four after they've played three in the back so much in recent years. Yeah, and it's just a lot of patience and making sure you, you are all on the same page. I mean, that is the key to catch people off sides, which Vanderbilt does an excellent job of. Um, but that takes a lot of communication and a lot of leadership. And so I'm sure that putting Maya Antoine in there, she learned a lot from having those seniors um, balancing that line with her. Simmons took that throw in from way out and it led to a quick shot from Harriet. Good save by Orcus. I think Simmons threw that one in from about five feet off the line. Yeah, that's another weapon there. <laughs> 
But you see there, Harriet with the shot, this is what the, the flat back four allows them to do is get Harriet, Conti up and into the attack. And, and that's really why Vanderbilt has been successful these last few games.